think that what Russia has now is a bad disease. They should apply more sanctions to, to Russia. Russia out of Ukraine! Hi everyone, welcome from the United States. My name is Zina and welcome to my channel. This weekend, Ukrainians of the New York City have gathered together to show their support to Ukraine. Unfortunately, I didn't have a chance to be there. However, my friend Irina was there and I asked her to ask Americans and other citizens of the New York City who were there, what do they think about the current situation between Russia and Ukraine? Let's figure this out in this video. Please make sure to watch until the very end. <laughs> My name is Ansi, Ansi Valens. I'm from New York City. And I'm uh, Yuzas Kozlis. I am also from uh, Manhattan uh, and Lithuanian American. I'm here because uh, the Baltics supported Ukraine and all the other, you know, the uh, captive nations during the Cold War. We understand what's going on, you know, right now, and the threat that uh, Putin presents or represents to uh, not only Europe, but America as well, and that's why we're here. I think that uh, the Baltics and Ukraine, in a sense, have a community of fate. We have been together for centuries uh, with the same problems, with the same sufferings. Even though the Balts are now part of NATO, we all know that an expansionist Russia uh, of the kind that you have now under Putin is a threat to everyone. So we're all not only fighting for Ukraine, but we're also fighting for ourselves and also for the rest of Europe, I would say. I'm from China. I'm actually attending NYU. I'm a law student right now. So that's probably why I tend to pay more attention on this the constitutional law or international law issues. And uh, I actually have some classmates who are from Ukraine, so they post uh, the invitation of this event on Facebook. That's I'm here. Why I'm here to show some support. I, I think it was a couple years ago. The last time I was in the U.S., that was when I think that Russia just invaded Crimea. No one can like think about something like that could still happen in modern time. And what's even more concerning is that no one is there to stop. Russia, like even in modern world, so we are here at a very like a dilemma, like a dilemma situation. I'm not sure how much I can do, but at least I can come and show some support. Uh, my name's Adam. I'm from New York. I'm just curious as to what's going on today. What Russia is doing, it doesn't seem like they're doing the right thing. I don't know too much about it, but I'm just curious to uh, to be here and see what is, what is going on. I'm Jonathan. I'm from Colombia. Th thank you for inviting me to this interview. I love you, Cap. Where'd you get? husband of a cousin, uh, he's from Ukraine and I have uh, some friends in the university that they are from Ukraine that I have a good relation with them and I'm supporting here them. Um, I'm here with my boyfriend and I think it's important to support Ukraine. What do you know about the situation with Russia? Basically everything I hear in the Swiss news, I'm Swiss originally and whatever friends are telling me. It's a tense situation. People are worried a lot. I think there could be more support from other countries, especially clear statements to help Ukraine. And uh, what Ukraine should do? Should we seek more support, wait for it, or try to do it in a diplomatic way? Protests like this one are perfect because they call the attentions of other people around and they will tell their friends and parents and people will be more aware of the situation and because it's peaceful people approve of it. Ukraine matters! Ukraine matters! Ukraine matters! Ukraine matters! Ukraine is currently defending democratic values, freedom and peace. Make yourself heard, make yourself seen. Talk about Ukraine. Ukraine needs our support. Thank you. What would you uh, expect from other countries in Europe? I think that what Russia has now is a bad disease and uh, Putin with his easy conquest in Crimea and then in uh, Donetsk and Luhansk has, uh, I would say, a sort of a psychological fever. And the only way to break that fever is to throw cold water on it because otherwise uh, he will want to keep expanding until he is stopped somewhere. And the sooner and the earlier, the better for all of us. 
including for Russia itself. Since I'm from China, and China is like a notoriously Chinese government is known to as an ally of Putin, I think at least the foreign government or foreign people, at least they can sh stop doing that, like stop showing support to Putin. That's the uh, very least they can do. There could be some like a co coordination among different countries to impose sanctions or things like that. I think they at least should uh, show their position, like, you know, at least they shouldn't support Putin. Uh, Putin is, is sending um, like propaganda, he's like trying to to make illegal elections to, to grab other countries. What's happening now in, in Ukraine, what, what's it's happening, for example, in Georgia and other countries from the area, ex-Slavic countries, that he, he's not taking responsibility of, of all these problems. He, he says that these is are not tr their troops, but somehow he's like sending troops somehow. I think that uh, they should apply more sanctions to, to Russia. What would you say to uh, Ukrainian citizens? I, I want to let them know that uh, Ukrainian people, they have friends all over the world. There are some countries who, who, who are like, apparently they are like friends of Putin or that doesn't necessarily mean like the people from those countries are also the friends of Putin. So I just want them to know they have uh, supporters from everywhere of the world and let them know they are, they are not Я дуже рада як президент волонтерської організації разом і дуже рада бути тут в Нью-Йорку, Union Square, на акції, яка якраз прийшла, зорганізована світовим конгресом українців, Ukrainian World Congress і УКК, Ukrainian Congress Committee of America, щоб максимально кількість людей знала, що є можливість зібратися і показати підтримку з Америки, України за розвиток суверенної демократичної держави. Я Марта Загайкевич, я належую тут української діаспори. Ми всі виросли через ті совєчкі часи. Ми там не були на місці, але емоційно переживали і підтримали Україну. Як Україна стала війна, ми думали, Ну, ну чудово, вже, вже вона є і існує, а тепер загроза знову. Я маю дружів між нашими воїнами, з ветеранками, з жінками. Вони тут відвідували нас в Нью-Йорку. Такої підтримки, як тепер є, я не пам'ятаю, аби колись вона була. Україна все була ніби така мала, в газетах, в відомостях дуже мало пише про нашу Україну, а тепер ту великий, велику підтримку має з багатьох країн, а з Європи і з Америки є не всі, не всі нас не підтримає. Так як Німеччина поступає, то є боляче і, і соромно, що то німці. Перше вони також атакували Україну, а тепер знову атакують. Франція також забагато Росію любить. І то ми всі знаємо, що Путін їх підкупив. І мені соромо за ті країни в Європі. Україна тепер, то вже й Україна, то не є Росія. Я була чотири рази в Києві, але кожним разом було там перед Майданом. І була шокована, як всюди, всюди, всюди тільки чуєш русський язик і тільки по російськи говорять, а я до них по українськи, то є в моїй нації Україна, я до них по українськи, вони о, я, я не розумію. І... А тепер ні. Ні, тепер то є українська нація, вони сильні, вони можуть своє рішення піднімати, вони сильне військо мають тепер, вони знають, що вони роблять. Але западна підтримка тут просто допомагає. І знаєте, що тут багато, багато з нас вечорами тяжко спати, бо ми з вами рано встаємо і думаємо, як ви, я перше стою рано і майже всі мої подруги. Також сидимо на комп'ютер, на Фейсбук, я читаю всі новини з України. Ми з вами. Слава Україні! Героям слава! Do you think uh, Russia will start the war or not? I think not for now. I hope you stand up for yourself and your country and that you will be unified and stronger in the future. Slava Ukraine! Slava Ukraine! 
Slava Ukraini! Slava Ukraini! Stay strong, uh, stay together, we should look after each other, we protect each other. Slava Ukraini! Glory to Ukraine! Glory to heroes! Support you guys, we love you guys, and, and keep up, we're supporting here, in other countries, in the United States. We love you guys, um, and keep your head up, because uh, you guys are very strong and smart. Glory to Ukraine! <laughs> Glory to here! Thank you for watching this video until the very end. I would be very thankful if you comment this video and you share this video with friends and family. I wish love to all Ukrainians and also to you. Hope to see you soon on my channel. Russia, Ukraine! Russia, Ukraine!